I am 37 years old. If I live to 90, I'm already over 40% through my life. I only have one life to live and only one life to give. My life is like a vapor, so I want to live completely and totally for my Savior. It is easy to major in the minors and minor in the majors, but I believe that true fulfillment is found in making the main thing the main thing. I want to live intentionally, single-mindedly, and eternally driven because of what my Savior has paid for me to be forgiven. I feel the most fulfilled in what I'm doing right now. It just feels right. It's like I have new foresight that brings me absolute delight. For many years, I would read the gospel and acts, but what I experienced in Western Christianity certainly lacked. About four years ago, I was flying back from the UK after an amazing conference. There were a lot of doors opening for me in ministry. I'd recently taken on a church campus. I was running a supernatural school, an itinerant and other ministry doors were opening up all over the place. At 35,000 feet, I asked God, out of all these things that I'm juggling, what would you like me to focus on the most? His response was immediate, surprising, and deeply impacting. His still small voice permeated my soul and the passion that ignited in my heart was furious. It was like I received his desire to see a viral movement of discipleship multiplication. I began to pray daily for strategies to see this become a reality. One day I was introduced to a book on discipleship multiplication called T for T. On those pages I read about a man named Ying Kai who cast vision to see 200 churches planted in two years. That goal was achieved in three months. In under 10 years they saw more than 2 million new baptisms. I wept through the pages and my heart burned within me. God, I want to see a movement like this. Soon after, we used the principles that we saw in the book to train Bella and Barbara who had received Christ only three days earlier. In the training, they wrote down the names of about 27 friends that were far from God. They also learned a simple gospel presentation. Within an hour of the training, they began to share the gospel. And in a few days, they led three of their friends to the Lord. But it didn't stop there. They went on and trained these new ones also to share the gospel. Within one week, Bella and Barbara had led three people to the Lord and trained them, and these new ones had also led two to Christ. It was less than one week, and they were already multiplying. I was hooked, so I desperately contacted any movement leaders that I could find to help coach us. I'd heard of a man who had moved to Tonga as a missionary. After reading the same book, T for T, and implementing the biblical strategies, they were seeing amazing discipleship multiplication in Tonga. He began to coach me with disciple-making principles. Within our first meeting, he asked me if I had heard about the tool of the 411. This was a tool that was developed by Troy Cooper, a movement leader in the U.S. Troy had gathered and distilled a lot of principles and tools from cutting-edge movement leaders who had seen millions come to Christ. We took the 411 and trained a young man named Bonani. Within a week, he had led five of his friends to the Lord and trained them to reach out. This fueled me to learn as much as I could about movements. I started to listen to a podcast hosted by Steve Addison. I devoured these podcasts, hearing stories of people all over the world who were seeing and pursuing disciple-making movements. The way that they talked carried such an infectious humility and kingdom purity, and their stories sounded just like the book of Acts. On this podcast, I kept hearing people mentioning the impact that Troy Cooper and a Four Fields Intensive had on them. I knew I just had to attend one of these trainings. In fact, I was happy to fly all the way to the U.S. to attend a Four Fields training. Then one day, Steve Addison said that he was going to bring the team to Australia. He wanted us to host one right here in Brisbane. It was honestly life-altering. It is the most pure biblical pattern I've seen that ignites a passion in me to see no place left in the nations. It is like I can see the clear instructions that Jesus gave, which is a blueprint for winning the nations, and it is still working 2,000 years later. What makes me even more ecstatic is, is being able to sit in a debrief meeting with these movement catalysts after the Brisbane Four Fields and hear from the team how impacted that they are by Australia and the Australian team. I believe that it is Australia's time. God is moving and there's a strategy that is both fresh and timeless to win the vast multitudes that are unaffected by our church programs. I am inviting those who burn for nation transformation to join us for another Four Fields training in Ipswich or in Bendigo in July. Love to see you there.